And 617 here on this Thursday morning. Well, we're talking about some cold air beginning to settle in all across the Northland. Quiet, though, as we take a live look outside over Duluth right now. But as we head through the rest of the day today, we can see that cold air beginning to settle in. We have issued a first alert through Thursday night through to Friday morning just because we're talking about actual air temperatures of 20 to even 30 degrees below zero. Then when you take into account that wind chill, I think some places are talking about wind chill of nearly 40 to even 50 degrees below zero. With that type of weather, frostbite can settle in in less than 10 minutes. So you're not going to want to be heading outdoors tomorrow morning with any exposed skin because that could be dangerous cold that we're going to begin, that we're going to begin seeing tomorrow morning. A wind chill warning is up for northern Minnesota for tomorrow morning. That means wind chills of 40 to 50 degrees below zero. That's in place until noontime tomorrow. If you're not under the wind chill warning, you're under the wind chill advisory. That's also in place until noontime tomorrow. Wind chills slightly better down there, but still wind chills of 25 to even 35 degrees below zero. Right now, we're not really all that cold for most places across Northland. As a matter of fact, most of us are above that zero degree mark, but you can see two below Ely, four below Orr, nine below International Falls, 11 below right now in Baudette. All that cold air off to the north and west, well, that has to settle into our region as we head through the rest of the day today. So normally day normally in the daytime, we, you know, grow temperature-wise as we head through the day today. Today is going to be the opposite. We actually lose ground. So while most of us start off above zero as we head towards this afternoon as well as this evening, you can see temperatures actually begin to fall back below that zero degree mark. That'll set us up for a cold start to our day tomorrow morning. Most of us talking about actual air temperatures as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning of 20 to even 30 degrees below zero. So a very cold start to our day. In terms of those wind chills, wind chills get progressively worse through the day today here as well. Most of us to start off this afternoon talking about wind chills in the teens and 20s below zero. As we head towards tomorrow morning, this is 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, you can see wind chills of nearly 40 to, yes, even 50 below zero in some parts of the North Flame. If you're not seeing the 40 to 50 below zero, you're probably seeing the 30s below zero. So definitely some very cold air. And while actual air temperatures get closer to the zero degree mark for Friday afternoon, you can see wind chills will remain below zero for the vast majority of the day to tomorrow. In terms of temperatures right now, it's quiet as we take a live look outside over Duluth, coming in at five above right now. Winds out of the north northwest between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Satellite radar showing clearing skies on the Minnesota side of things. Maybe a few snow showers across northwest Wisconsin to start off our day here on this Thursday morning. As we head through the rest of the day, most of us should begin to see those clearing skies overhead. The opportunity for a little bit of lake effect snow along the south shore thanks to winds out of the north and west. That lake effect opportunity will continue through the overnight hours tonight as well as the first half of our day tomorrow before the winds begin to shift. Also through the day tomorrow, looking at clouds generally on the increase in the opportunity for a little bit of light snow through Friday night into the early morning hours on Saturday. In terms of that lake effect snow that we see today as well as tomorrow, most places along the south shore, generally from Ashland points east, could pick up an additional one to three inches of snow down there thanks to a little bit of help from Lake Superior. You can see once we're done with this cold though, we really begin to warm things back up back towards the weekend back into the 20s for Saturday and Sunday, and maybe, maybe even the 30s as we head towards next week. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast now. You can see in that seven days, it's cold today and tomorrow. So partly sunny skies overhead for both Saturday and Sunday back into the 20s. Looks like a good amount of sunshine to start off next week as well. Maybe the opportunity for a little bit of light snow for the day on Tuesday. But temperatures back into the 30s. So between tonight and basically Monday, we're talking about a 60-degree temperature swing.